What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Richie Ruckus. We're back here today. It is Monday, but it's not just any other regular Monday. It was Cyber Monday. I'm a little late filming this because I was up all day cooking on the computer. I got some super, super steals today. Uh, both me and Iasia were really working. Laptop, the tablet, phones, just doing some really good steals. The Richie Ruckus sneaker things, hoodie restocked. I know there were some sizes available, but we brought back every size in a full size run at one o'clock today. Quite a few sold already, but if you're interested, the Richie Ruckus sneaker things hoodie is on richieruckus.com for $25. I ship everywhere. They ship out pretty fast. So if you're interested in the sneaker things hoodie, which if you've been a viewer of my videos, you've seen me wear quite often. I actually changed it up today and I'm rocking the uncivilized Tommy hoodie from Foamy and Buckets. Today's video was going to originally be me doing this very early in the morning and doing all the sneaker steals that you can catch for Cyber Monday today. You know, things don't always work out according to plan, so I, I didn't film early, I'm filming later in the day, so it would be pointless for me to make this video, because by the time it uploads and people watch it, it will already be past Monday. We're going to be doing a comparison and me picking which sneaker I think of the two is better and my favorite. It is two sneakers that are iconic. It is two sneakers that are on top of the sneaker game right now. And before we get into that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Hit that thumbs up if you're feeling this video. And please follow me on all social. So today's discussion is going to be about the new Nike Vapor Max Mach in that crispy, crispy, clean, multi-colorway. And it's going to be going head-to-head -head with the Multicolor Ultra Boost 3.0. Two favorites of mine, two of my favorite releases of this year. I know I said a few sneakers back during the review of the Vapor Max mock. It was going to be in my top five for the year, and I know that's going to hold true. But just to give you a small sample size of how much I mean that, I've worn these sneakers every single day since I bought them. I copped the Yeezy Beluga 2.0s in store and have yet to even cut the tags off of them or even put them on my feet. These have not left my feet since the day, since the second they were bought. You, you can't go wrong with either model. You got fly knit versus prime knit. I'll actually re reference an old video of mine that I did was the the Vapor Max versus Boost in general. I'll link that in the description and I'll also go link it to this video. But this video is just specifically about the Multicolor Ultra Boost 3.0 and the Multicolor Vapor Max Mach. One, the Ultra Boost is not laceless. It's got laces, it gives you room to make the sneaker tighter, looser, mildly, depending how you like to fit. On all of my Ultra Boosts, I like them laced loosely. On the Vapor Maxes, it depends which pair I'm wearing. Sometimes they're tied, sometimes they're left loose. But on the Mach, you don't have that option. All it does is have the strap. And although the strap is flexible on the mock, it's nowhere near as flexible as having the laces. So there is some restriction. I do feel that maybe going up a half size may have been the better move. They do still fit a little tight. Which brings me to my next point in this comparison video. The Ultra Boost, right out the gate, right out the box, you put them on your feet and you do not miss a beat. These are so, so comfortable right out the gate. Vapor Max. Takes a few wears to get them broken in and get that comfort level, you know, at its full peak. When it's at its full peak, I think the sneakers are very comparable. The sneakers, it's just, this is a new iconic model from Nike. This is an iconic mainstay for Adidas. So I just felt like it was a good head-to-head -head combat. I'm actually going to be putting it on my Instagram story while we're filming this, which one people like better. You know, I'm not going to get into really comparing too much about the two sneakers. I've done a review on both. My humble opinion it is the Vapor Max. So we're going to take the boost. You're going to go sit in the second place circle. Get out of here. And I'm being impartial. I'm unbiased. I have no more allegiance to Nike than I do Adidas. So I feel like it's a very fair, even, level-headed vote. Although Ultra Boost is comfort right out the gate and the Vapor Max takes a second to break in. I think the Vapor Max Multicolor Mach is a cleaner, nicer, 
more my style sneaker than the Ultra Boost 3.0 multicolor. Well, that's it, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. But until then, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace. Cyber Monday. Hold us. Holla. Richie Ruckus, baby.